Hello everybody and welcome to a special Max Gentleman Sexy Business. Another one of the amazing games I am the producer of. It has been out for a month now and new content is on the way. You're probably wondering, Jesse, why did you produce this game? Uh, I feel like the redhead on the screen should be just all the information you need. And like I said, new content is coming. You can date uh, Cassius and Angel and all sorts of fun things are coming your way. Gameplay improvements, you know. And to celebrate that, I've decided to sit down and go through some of the dates that you can already go on with some friends. And I figured, what better friend to bring on than the voice of this lovely redhead, the incomparable, I don't know what that word means, incomparable, I'm saying it anyway, Miss Erica Ishii. Jesse, <laughs> you're too nice, stop it. I don't know what incomparable means. I need to look that up. It's it, you know, it's it beyond, it's beyond compare. You cannot com compare anything to it, which is a very nice thing of you to say about me, Jesse. Wow, I'm glad you got what I was going for because I was just talking. No, it was good. You just you just like reached for a word and plucked it out of the sky, and it was a very nice <laughs> right one. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. That's how I do most of my words. I pluck them. <laughs> <laughs> Just snatching at them from from the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, today, I want to play with you through Penny Farthing, which is my favorite character in this entire game. And oh, it's true. And when we were casting this game, I was like, I know who I want to be Penny. <laughs> it's so funny. I love that. I love that you were like, yeah, you were like pushing, pushing for you're like, Erica, let, let's let's make Erica do the, let's have Erica do the British accent. Yes. I never get, yeah, this, this, this is fun. Yeah, you've been involved in all my nonsense. So I'm excited to get you involved in this as well. And uh, now we're going to just, for the sake of doing it, we're not even going to play the basic game. The basic game, tycoon sim stuff, play it in your own time, internet. Today is all about the dates. I'm taking Penny Farthing and Erica on several in-game dates. We're gonna see what kind of trouble we can get into. We're gonna try and be as smooth as possible. As you can see, I'm already a six. I have maxed out my dating status. It is very sexual. But for today, we're just gonna, you know, goof around, see where we can go, make dumb choices, and uh, be friendos being uh, full-on idiots, and I can't wait to see what happens. I am so ready. I am best wing woman. I will have you know, Jesse. <laughs> Thank you so much, because I need you. Uh, my dating record with computer-generated women is bad. It's bad. I don't know why. Really? Yeah, usually I make, like, the dumb what choices. Do, where do you go wrong? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, I want to see what they'll say, right? Because everyone, well, yeah, everyone I mean, knows how to game the system, right? right? You know how to game it. Yeah, like you, you have to act like a sociopath and just say whatever you want the person to hear, right? It's basically just following a walkthrough, and that's no fun. We got to take chances. Just get weird with it. I mean, that's how I live my life. So oh, we'll see how <laughs> we, maybe we'll we'll see how this goes. All right. Uh. The intro is pretty straightforward. It's just the introduction to your character. I don't know that we need to do that, but it's your call. Do you want to start at the intro? Uh, sure. Like we can, we can, we can go go through real quick. Or okay, yeah. Let's uh, let's start at the beginning. Let's start when they first meet. It's like uh, you know, Pac-Man. Between the levels, it would have Pac-Man, and Mrs. Pac-Man meet. Yeah. This is how I feel my relationship to Penny is. I'm Pac-Man, womp 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 womp, and she's like Mrs. Pac-Man running away from me. So let's do this. Aww. Boss, it's my pleasure to introduce you, Penny Farthing. That's uh, that's her voice. That's your business made voice. That's her that's business made voice. Very yeah. good, very good. Okay. Oh. How do you do? Don't answer that. This is a business meeting. There's no time for personal feelings. I'm here to join. I, you know, okay, little sidebar here. Like, I'm half in the Penny Farthing voice and half in the ridiculous sort of streaming British voice that I do. What do you it's what like, do you mean? And it's like, you are not helping. So now this is like, we've gone full Python here, Jesse. I so, don't understand. <laughs> what are you referring to? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I actually have to turn my gain down here. We've gotten too silly and I'm blowing out my mic. Okay. <laughs> 
I'm here to join my metalwork company with yours. We mostly make decorative architecture, but sometimes we make weaponry, and even more rarely, I like to dabble in metalwork clothing. Ooh, hot! The latter of which hasn't really panned out yet. Too much pinching. Either way, I'm sure you will find my company to be a valuable asset going forward. Hey, see? Perfect. Yeah, it's... It's hard not to go into that into that Python voice. I don't know what you mean. I didn't vote for him. <laughs> he's not the Messiah. He's a naughty boy. Well, we'll find out. I think that's the plan. Uh, so. All right, great. Uh, first date. I've I've won you over through the power of industry, I think, and now I finally convinced Penny to go on a date with me. Ooh. Ball! <laughs> it's my pleasure to announce the arrival of Penny Farthing. She stares you dead in the eyes and says nothing. <gasps> uh, okay. Oh my god, I just, your your character creator, is that your character creator character? This is the character of me that we put in the game so I don't have to create a character so I can exist forever. That's amazing. It's, it's, it's. Thank you. Stunning. And also I want that <laughs> Um, <laughs> I want this robe too. Are you kidding me? Um, uh, uh, how do you do? I suppose is the polite thing to say. Okay. She rolls up her sleeves, storms towards you, and slams her <gasps> elbow firmly into the nearest table. Hot. Uh oh, <sighs> some dots. Dot, dot, dot. Care to play a friendly game of break the ice? Ooh! Uh, <laughs> oh, this is. <laughs> This is good. Uh, um, I feel like. I mean, it, if if it's in real life, like number one, right? Like, be aggressive. Be be aggressive. You know, within, you know what? Within That's the all confines I of boundaries. Was, you know. I'm sorry. What were we saying? What I was, was gonna thought? say either one or two, because I like the meet her gaze and wiggle your eyebrow. But this one is like it's it's ballsy. It's yes. like I rip my, I rip my <laughs> own shirt. Yes, yes. Nothing says serious business like ripping ripping your entire <laughs> sleeve off of your dressing like ruining gown. your wardrobe. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> okay. She grins. The name of the game is Hansy's Grapples. Oh my god, I'm going to call. Them. Queen Victoria rules. First to get pinned loses. Boss, it'd be my pleasure to officiate this duel. Let's make this interesting. Care to wager something? Oh Ooh. my god. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> one million. Do you do we have one million pounds? Uh I think we probably do at this well, actually we don't, but what if we don't lose? What if we win? Okay, what if we win? Uh my pride uh, I don't know, which which is I don't know, you tell me. I don't know. Penny Penny Farthing is a she she is a woman of industry. Um Right. Uh, I don't. I, I don't She's know. She's tough. Yeah. I think pride. My pride will be enough. Yeah, I think maybe my answer. pride will be enough. Yes. Hmm. I'll take it. Your eyes lock, and time slows as you await the starting call. Begin. Ooh. Your grips engage at the exact same moment. It's anyone's game. Your arm drips with sweat. She stares you down. <gasps> Oh, oh my uh, God! Put your muscles on blast. Hold your. Oh, these are all very good. These are all. These are all ways of saying that we are intensifying. Um, I feel like putting your muscles on blast is. You know, my shirt is ripped. Yeah. And so she would see that, like, oh, a man. Yeah. Is what I imagine. <laughs> yeah. She would think. That seems like the way to do it. Yes. Put put our muscles on blast. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for backing me up on that no, nonsense. No, 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 you're right. With a sudden burst of strength, she puts you on the ropes. Your quivering bicep glistens in the light. Her once confident stare is now one of respect. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, uh, we have a respect. I say hold the ground. Yeah, hold our ground. You eke out a few degrees <gasps> ahead. Your arm bulges magnificently. It's now or never. Grit your teeth! You both grunt and strain, but nobody gains ground. Yeah. Your iron appendage radiates with heat. You feel the table straining beneath you. 
Just as you both push your last ounce of strength into the final move, the table shatters in a wondrous explosion beneath you. You both stand in a pile of wood chips, fists clenched, looking macho as heck. This is hot! Hot! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, there's only one answer here, and it's not knowingly, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. It is absolutely. We're just like looking at each other like, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's true. The look of shock across Penny's face slowly replaces yes! with a grin and explodes into laughter. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm impressed. I'll come calling again soon, perhaps for different reasons. Yo! Yeah, she winks at you and it. walks away. Oh man, yeah, we did. Well, we we slayed that date. That was a good date. That was a, we had a good time. That, that was, was uh, that was good. Like honestly, if I went on that date, like there would a hundred percent be a date too, and I would text as soon as I got home. Oh my god! <laughs> Mostly to apologize for destroying the furniture, but okay, <laughs> what would be the key of that date for you? What was the thing that got you? The thrill of the fight. The thrill of the fight. Like fight. Like 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 you know. Uh, you know. I, I love that sort of you know Pacific Rim uh, sort of drift compatible <laughs> like like sparring match. And okay, like I'm sure you're. Can you can help me think of these? Like so, there's that one, and there's like. Uh, I don't know, uh, uh, the sort of Zorro fight, and although that one's a little one-sided, though. I like, like, even matches of strength, you know, uh, in- So it's, what you're telling me is, trope. if you can- if you can pilot a giant mech with someone, that's a, it's a good it's a good relationship. Yeah, yeah, that. But then you know the scene where they're like having the the tryouts and they're like the quarter staff fighting and everything. It's like that's the vibe, sure. right? Of like a uh, like a uh, a uh, like a sparring partner sort of a thing. So like having a table explode underneath you guys as you're as you're arm wrestling. Yes. Yes. I feel like you're gonna like what's ahead. I'm ex I'm excited. I'm excited for you. This is gonna be good. Okay. First date, massive success, obviously. Yes. Second date. Here we go. Boss, it's my pleasure to announce <laughs> once more, Miss. Penny bursts into the room before she's done being announced and skewers you with her gaze. You know what to do. Oh. <laughs> Rip off your shirt. Prepare to arm wrestle once more. Oh, man. That's it. Yeah, yeah, like this, these, these other ones are not. Yes, look at the sparkles! Oh! Whoa! Penny roars with laughter. Several paintings fall off the wall. <laughs> I love this so much. While I'm impressed by your zeal towards arm-based combat and blatant disregard for clothing, I'm here today on a different mission. You see, I quite enjoy- Oh my goodness, the ornament! Oh my god. Uh, you see, I quite enjoy arm wrestling and metalworking, but my true passion in s is speculating about the future. As which I assume the, the wavy lines. Yeah, right. It was wavy text, so obviously. If I wish in the booth they gave us scripts with more animated text, that would like really help performance. I am a member in good standing at the Royal London Futurological Society. Af after the considerable determination you demonstrated on the occasion of our last meeting, I think you might be a good fit for the organization. We're having a meeting tonight. If you'd like to attend. Ooh! Mm. That sounds like a time in the future. I love the future. Oh, That's no. so funny. Um, you like predicting the future, do you? Ooh, a ch the last one's a challenge, and I like that. Yeah, I, I think it's either like one or three. And the second one seems a little needy. It seems like, I'll do whatever. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, look, like, in real life, like, you know, that's that's a very sweet romantic thing, but also, like, it's, yeah, I mean, it's this is date two, and, like, yeah, it's, it's like you gotta read the person. Yeah, well, it's also wrong, because if it's, like, I'd go any time with you, then you're yes, in. Yes, that's it, right? You know, it's Anywhere, not, it's she's not about where, she's about when. Yes. Um... I like three. Let's be a little, a little, you know. Okay. A, a little, you know, contrarian with three. Saucy? Yeah, a little, a little saucy. Like, uh, 
like bite back. Like, oh, we wrestled. I'm gonna oh, yeah. wrestle you oh, verbally yeah. now. Yes. Sometimes the future is what we make of it. Therefore, you're going. I'm taking you. Yes, we done it. Hey. Damn. <laughs> Uh oh, uh, Battle Butler. Uh, can't argue with that logic! <laughs> <laughs> the hour approaches. Let us embark! You follow Penny outside where she helps you into a passenger seat of her horseless carriage. Oh. The engine seems constantly on the verge of exploding as she weaves crazily through the streets to your destination. At last, with a mighty screech of rubber, she drifts to a stop in front of your destination. The Royal Future Futurological Society is headquartered in a three-story building that seems entirely made out of plumbing. Ah, oh, so good. Penny sees you examining it. The building is powered by steam, the energy source of the future. Come along, the meeting is about to start. Penny leads you to the door, but you're stopped by an unsettlingly... <laughs> Large man wearing six watches, <laughs> jeweler spectacles, and a vest made of assorted gears. Steampunk. 2021, he says challengingly. Clockwork trousers. Another good one, Miss Falling, says the man. He steps aside to let her pass. When you try to follow her, however, he blocks your way. 2021, he oh. says again. Ooh, uh... <laughs> Rip off your shirt. <laughs> that's, that's probably the funniest answer. <laughs> We're so one note. We, just, <laughs> we solve all of our problems by ripping our shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's the way to go. Uh, all right. <laughs> that's true. Oh man. The bouncer uh, looks you up and down and shakes his should, head. We should, I know. Uh, <laughs> that is decidedly not the answer to my question, I, he says. Can we still say... Uh, now, I'm only going to ask you one more time. What invention do you predict for the year 2021? Um, What the heck? Did you say cat, is Cats 2.0? Cats 2.0. Uh, steam power monocle. A way to experience twice the things. I didn't have the time. Um, Let's... Uh, I mean, the steam-powered monocle seems the thing that they would that they would that the seems the answer they're looking for. But also, Cats 2.0 is uh, such a good what if response. We, what if we do Cats 2.0? Let's do Cats 2.0. Intriguing, the long-awaited sequel to Cats coming next millennium. Will they fix the many documented issues with the current build? Will they double down on the innovations of the previous version and create an even more efficient engine for expressing apathy and puking on things? Will they simply graft on a pair of wings and some googly eyes? Lord Gearsington, let this visionary in at once! The Royal Society simply must <laughs> debate this issue. Oh my goodness. It's true. That was the correct... That was the bouncer steps grudgingly aside and you follow Penny into the bowels of the Royal Society. The interlocking steam pipe motif is joined on the inside by numerous clocks, springs, and superfluous gears. You emerge into an enormous, unnecessarily mechanized amphitheater where two members of the society are engaged in a heated debate. I tell you, a world fair sexy by John Burns, cries a, la oh, cries a lady <laughs> with the demonic Perfect, top hat and spring-loaded corset. <laughs> Nonsense! Nonsense. <laughs> Spits back a gentleman whose three-piece suit is made entirely of bifocal lenses. The aftermath of gravity walls will render Earth unhospitable to the hollow pound. The true rulers of the Earth will be the giant squid, nature's parliamentarian. Better, uh, better hollow pound than hollow brain, retorts the lady. The crowd erupts in consternation. Our formal debates can become a bit contentious. I hate it when they argue so. If only someone would propose an idea too handsomely to dispute. Oof. You have just the handsome opinion to settle this. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. I feel like arm wrestling is out. 
<laughs> Bears in the East, Wolverines in the West. <laughs> uh, um. Ah, uh, one or two are very good answers for this. Um, I'll let you decide. What would impress think, these people the most? I, I don't know. That's, it's hard because the, the, that first one is very disputable, and that second one is just so broad, you know, it's really hard to argue. Well, it seems like they're very, uh, like they want to argue, right? I think that yeah, might be the I point. Think, yeah, maybe let's try the first one. Let's try the first one. I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 it shows that we have an informed opinion, you know? Sure. Of course. Okay, let, yeah. Oh, and what of the deserts? Surely you not propose such fairy creatures would thrive in the desert heat, inquires the gentleman. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, just thanks to hyperbole humans, more gears and leather straps than men. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh, that, that last one's so good, but... I mean, cats is always the answer to any any debate, I suppose. But but that cats two point oh maybe. Yeah, cats cats two point oh. But that last one is so good. Uh, let, let's do ca cats cats, naturally. Oh, says the lady. Ah, <laughs> says the gentleman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah, makes, that makes way, way more, more sense. sense. They both agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's settled. What shall we debate next? How big are the cats? <laughs> yells a member of the crowd, and they're off to the races. <laughs> Further conversations continue apace late into the night, each idea crazier than the last. Many people congratulate you on your wise contribution to the discussion. <laughs> Congratulations on joining the Royal Futurological Society. You fit in quite well, I think. Uh, oh, induction ceremony, oh my goodness. Uh... When did I join? Yeah, it, when, <laughs> I mean, I feel like a hazing is in order. Yeah, shouldn't there be yeah, some kind of ceremony? Yes, yeah. Ceremony, ceremony. Oh, I'm sure there will be. Someday. Your actions tonight demonstrated that whether or not you are a member now, you will certainly become a member in the future. And since to futurologist, to a futurologist, the future is now. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to our order. Membership comes with certain responsibilities, but we can discuss those later. For now, enjoy this evening of spirited debate. You're more than you've more than earned it. Hooray! And enjoy you do. You drink, speculate, and carouse with your new friends, stumbling drunkenly together into the mysterious future. Ah, uh, what a good second date. Oh my goodness, like, you showed that not only are, are you a, a, an equal to sparring with, with your, your arms and your body, but you are an equal in, as an intellectual. God, what a good date. Plus, you won over her friends, which is a good win. Oh, That's really a victory. Is. That's uh, hard. God, why can't dates be like this, Jesse? <laughs> why can't really be, be min maxed and gamed? Yeah, yes. <laughs> I've been asking myself that for years. I mean, but like, <laughs> look, we're smart people in games. Why? We're smart people in life, right? Like, what? What goes wrong, Jesse? Jesse, what goes wrong? If I knew the answer, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me just put that out there right now. Or maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's that people are not programmed uh, logically in in, in game like in game design. Or people are not game designed well, is what it is. People are not game designed I've well. I've been saying that for a long time. We need to we need to to upgrade software. Yeah, patch humans. Ha patch humans. All right, third date. Bam. Boss, Madam Farthing has come calling once more. She seems to have replaced her horse's carriage with some sort of motor-powered bicycle. I'm not sure why, but I'm extremely aroused by this. <laughs> anyway, here she is. <laughs> Thank you, business maid. Greetings, my fellow futurologist. Congratulations once more on your induction into our august order. I am here today on official society business. Although I must confess that... 
In visiting you, I am quite liberally mixing business with pleasure. In any case, the sole obligation of a card-carrying futurologist is to tirelessly seek information about the future, wherever it is to be found. I've prepared an itinerary of future-seeking activities for us to pursue together today. <gasps> she planned our date! If done right... This is... Th I need this. This is so... This is so... Oh, my God. If done right... I need more dates where people just come to me like, this is what we're doing, and I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, <laughs> if done right, these activities will drastically increase our knowledge of future times and our closeness to each other. Oh, my God, are we going on a scavenger hunt for a date? Oh, my God. I love her. Um, Why? <laughs> this, of all the answers, the first one's the most realistic Jesse answer. Like, I yeah. know what part of the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, wink. Oof. Okay. Hell yeah, future, we inevitably come. Uh, what is the last one about? <laughs> and also, like, This is me currently, the last one. They at least better be, like, the French macaron and not, like, you know, the coconut macaroons. <laughs> My right? favorite part's the way you just right? coconut macaroons. <laughs> Look, I I like me some coconut macaroons, but they are vastly inferior to the bougie French counterparts. Agreed. Um, oh, super agreed. Let's see. Uh, I think the second one is like a hard, like, you know what? Yes. Yes, that is definitely the kind of thing that you'd say before climbing onto the back of a bike. Right? Hell yeah. Yeah. That's the adventurous spirit that first drew me to you. Ah. So, I was thinking we could start either by visiting a fortune teller or doing a bit of reverse archaeology. What do you think? <gasps> what is reverse archaeology? Oh, my God. <laughs> the first one. Oh, what is it? Blah, 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 Let's find out. Yeah, reverse archaeology. It's quite simple, really. Conventional archaeologists dig up past relics to attempt to learn about the past. Reverse archaeologists bury present relics in an attempt to learn about the future. <gasps> I'm so, so silly. in. So in. Oh, I'm so in. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, sure, that makes total sense. Of course. Your words say, oh, of course, but your eyes say, help me, I'm trapped in a conversation with a crazy person. What? No, no. Allow me to explain further. Reverse archaeology, you see, is predicted on the idea is predicated on the idea that time sailing will be invented at some point in the future. Ooh, time sailing. Time sailing being the traversal of time through time boats. In the future, anyone will be able to tour through any time period for a reasonable price. <laughs> Thus, <clears throat> Thus, we carve messages on to the future on precious artifacts and assume that once time sailing is invented, the future will return with answers, answers to our questions. The most important part of the process Aside from selecting the message, is choosing an object that will properly tantalize the sightseers of the future. What ought we to use? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> mold of your butt. Look. A good look, ass is timeless. <laughs> look. I mean, uh. butts are good though. I but, want to just say, for the record, yeah. a good ass is timeless. It might be put on my Twitter bio. Yeah. Now. <laughs> That's a real good answer. A good ass is God timeless. That's it. it. We have to. We I have could, to. Are we? It's is that too aggressive? I mean, this is date three, but like, I feel like we have a little bit of playful banter going on, right? Oh, we broke a table our first date. A oh, good ass right. of timeless is right down, right where we're going. I mean, okay, I don't care what happens with this response, like, <laughs> but for the record, if somebody said this to me, I'd be like, ah, oh, you're all right. <laughs> all, right. all right, here we go. Let's do it. Oh my, you scamp. <laughs> but you're not wrong. <laughs> and what ought we to inscribe upon it? 
What message shall we leave for the people of the future? <laughs> What's uh, up? Oh my god, the second one is so Nietzsche. Uh, <laughs> <Sanchez. laughs> Oh. Uh, I I want to know what Here's the thing I want to know what the answer to the second one is I want to know what she says Because it's so hyper specific Yeah, it's like not really her vibe uh, But I don't, I mean, I'm curious Obviously I, what's up is like too vague. Yeah. Send nudes is clearly the joke answer. Yeah. So I'm like, well, what is the second one? What yeah, does that mean true. for Th this? That's true. And you know, to be honest with you, if we did send, if we, if I received this message, I'd be like, better living through chemistry. See a therapist. So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she'll, yeah. I, I, here's the thing though. If I was from the future mm -hmm. and I saw a butt that said send nudes, I'd be like, they're doing pretty good. They don't need my nudes. <laughs> yeah. Right, because it's already a naked butt, you know. Yeah, doing fine. but if I saw a butt that was like, "What is what is the meaning to true happiness?" I'd be like, "All right, these are my kind of people." All right, let's do number yeah. two. Yeah, let's do number two. <laughs> wow, <laughs> big mood. <laughs> yeah, I honestly, I I can't think of anything I'd rather know. That's With the so help great. of Penny's heavy machinery, you <laughs> carve your message into your chosen object in gothic script and bury your creation on the outskirts of the city. Now all that's left to do is wait for a response from the future. Any second now. Literally any second. Oh well, perhaps we should do something else while we wait. Oh my god, this is my moment. Clouds have begun to gather in the sky. It seems oh a storm God, is, is brewing. Rain on us? So, what now? Ooh, fortune oh, telling. Oh, fortune telling, a hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she doesn't seem like a fortune telling character. Don't act surprised. A true futurologist uses every resource available, even those rejected by mainstream scientific thinking. I don't know. Fortune telling is as li likely as anything else to provide solid data on the future. I guess technically, she, if the future is unpredictable, yeah, and you know, I guess honestly, technically the, she's right. In the in the Victorian times, like, yeah, any uh, fortune telling might be just as accurate as their quote unquote science. That's not true. Yeah, in I Victorian mean, era, they were starting to like. In the Victorian era, they started to look into blood, blood typing and, and fingerprints and, you know, hygiene. But, you know, uh, you know, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. The difficulty we have in encountering so far, the, the difficulty we, the difficulty we have, the difficulty we have encountered so far is this. Most individuals who frequent fortune tellers go seeking information about their immediate personal futures. We of the Royal Society are uninterested in such petty prophecies. We seek grand predictions of societal and technological upheaval. But, as most fortune tellers are specialized in the other thing, we have yet to figure out how to get them to give us the sort of information we want. You seem to have a fresh perspective. Perhaps you have some idea of how we might proceed? How did this get turned back on, on, on us? Yeah, how do we... This okay. is bad news. Let's put a palm reader, but give her a robot hand to read. <gasps> <gasps> that is Damn. the sexy thing. And an astrologer, but give him a birth date 700 years in the future. Oh! <laughs> Let's daisy chain a dozen fortune tellers to predict what the next one down the line will predict to boost the signal of their future sight. Oh my god. These are all brilliant. Oh my god. I don't know what to choose here. I think they're this all is, great. These are all, there is no wrong answer here, honestly. I like, I mean, I love robots, though. I love robots. You want to do the robot hand? Yeah, let's do robot hand, I guess. Okay. Ah, oh, marvelous. I knew I'd find a use for this robot hand I built. <sighs> Simply using it to practice a firm handshake left something to be desired. That's what she was using it for? <laughs> there are so many other. There's so many. Like, look. 
It was a different time. It was a different time. It was, yeah. All right. Uh, you bring the robot hand to a renowned palm reader in the heart of the city. She takes the hand in hers and feels its contours. No love, she says. <laughs> That's so good. No life, but... Suddenly her eyes grow wide, or go wide. Conquest, <laughs> she screams. This hand is destined for brutal conquest. Dominion over all. The horror, the horror. <laughs> Palm reader collapses to the floor, <laughs> wild-eyed. <laughs> Penny happily takes the robot hand <laughs> from her. Oh my God. <laughs> the delivery, just the ri the writing on that. <laughs> See, I told you fortune telling could be of use to us. Let's get a second opinion. I believe in scientific progress process. I believe in scientific process. Um. <laughs> Let's electrocute a deck of tarot cards. Uh, see what happens. Uh, these are all so good. God, they're so good. I wonder. I really want to know what. The 700 years one will yeah. be, but I also think this the second one's really funny yeah, too. Yeah, let's. I, like I want to daisy chain them. Yeah, bite. yeah. I think I agree. I agree. Okay, I think, let's I daisy, daisy chain. Training. Well, the engineering is sound. Why, it's just crazy enough to work. Penny travels around town collecting as many low-rent fortune tellers as she can find. Oh, you begin crazy. the experiment explaining to each clairvoyant what to do. As you go down the line, it seems each new addition looks increasingly strained. You reach the final seer, who seems hesitant to participate. Hmm, that's odd. I've never met an oracle that had any pause demonstrating their gift. No bother. We'll just double his pay. Penny Quirce is the final fortune teller to join the <laughs> chain of increasingly uncomfortable looking <laughs> seers. He plugs in, or whatever it is psychics do. Sweat immediately cascades down his red, grimacing face. I see. He struggles to speak. Yes. Yes. With the blare and decisiveness of the final note played by an orchestra of trombones, each and every fortune teller shits their pants and falls unconscious. Well then... <laughs> we tried to play God, it was out of control. How did that... What do you think? Any more? Oh, come on! <laughs> We got no, we got no that, answers. That, was, that's, that sucks. That was brilliant. Come on. We were all, we were on the brink of truth. I saw it as clear as day, and they, they all shit their pants. Oh no. Um. Uh, do you want to go on any more of these, or yeah, are we good? Let's do uh, let's do the astrologer, I guess. The seven hundred years in the future. Let's see that one, and then we'll and then we'll call it a day, I guess. Ingenious in its simplicity, I know just the place. Penny leads you to a godly decorated fortune telling establishment in the seedy part of town, and the two of you go inside. As planned, you give the astrologer a birth date centuries in the future. He doesn't bat an eye. Ah, he says, <laughs> a laser Pisces. <laughs> You will fall in love with a cybernetic dolphin, but your love will be tragically cut short by an unfortunate other golf accident. Devastated, you will become addicted to shame and will use your vast wealth to siphon embarrassing memories from the minds of teens. <laughs> My, what a vivid vignette of life in the few far future. I, for one, can't wait to visit. Well, there's only one option left. Yeah, should we just do it? Should we just do it? Yeah, yeah all let's right. Do it, let's yeah, do it, let's, let's do, it. do it. An experiment. Excellent. I have all the prerequisite equipment in my lab. But soon. Hmm. I'm not sure how to interpret a deck of tarot cards catching on fire. 
If only we'd thought to bring along someone who could read smoke signals. Okay, <laughs> that's seen it, enough. I've seen enough. <laughs> I like that's like, oh, yeah, I've we're done. I've seen enough. Light rain begins to fall. The sky looks bruised and angry. Anything else we might try? Oh my god. Oh, uh, it's apparently still. But I guess that. I guess it's that. <laughs> How Victorian romantic. Let yeah. us sit still. Let us sit perfectly still. <laughs> of course. Removing ourselves from the course of events and simply observing what occurs without and simply observing what occurs without interference. <laughs> it is perhaps the most elegant form of time travel. But we must have some way to pass the time. I'm likely to go quite mad otherwise. Big mood. Uh, okay. uh, oh, goodness. These are all nice. Yeah, they're all nice. I'm disappointed. Nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 damn. Uh, I guess let's ask her about her future. Sure. Or her, or her future obsession, yeah. Ironically enough, the past. Just think about it. A thousand years ago, the greatest among us were living in big piles of stone, beating each other with glorified metal sticks and deciding which disease to die of. Today, we have seemingly every possible convenience, and yet, a future time will find us just as pitiable as we find the citizens of the Dark Ages. Mm. It is a fascinating mental exercise for me to try to imagine a, to, to try to imagine a world exponentially more marvelous than the one I inhabit. Don't you agree? Yes. Oh, absolutely! I oh can't wait God. to see how dumb we look to future yes. generations. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that is absolutely true of me now. Yes. Yeah, I'm ready. Yes. I knew you'd understand. <laughs> I live to be mocked by the unborn. That's amazing. <laughs> that is also another Twitter quote. Just stick it in the bio. Uh, I live to be mocked I by the unborn. I live to be mocked by the unborn. <laughs> this provokes a lively exploration about what elements of the present you ought to be most embarrassed by. <laughs> you come up with some good ones. Well, I'm not sure I learned anything about the future from that. Unless I take this into consideration, uh... Unless I, unless I take this into consideration, a future that I shared with you. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I'm all that disappointed. The clouds above rumble with thunder. Penny pays the weather no mind. She is lost in thought about the future. We've had quite a full day, have we not? But I can't, can't say that I'm terribly satisfi satisfied with the information we gained. I do sorely wish we could find something out for certain. <gasps> but one thing I do know is that you and I are certainly growing. <laughs> Just then, a blinding flash of lightning. Penny's hand leaps forward from the wall she's touching oh! as if possessed. Her eyes go wild. A message from the future. Our reverse archaeology was a success! <gasps> what? What message? What message? I mean, is she alright? Only the most valuable message of our time! <laughs> and all other times! <laughs> I love that just the very end, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah she's alright. Is she okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she's fine, I think. You know, it's uh, <laughs> important. The f that flash of lightning, clearly sent from the future for our edification, filled my mind with a crystal clear blueprint. For a time apparatus! There is no time to waste. Perhaps, or, or perhaps all time to waste. Or, or not waste. Oh, our damnably pl punctual vocabulary is no match for the m machination of the future. Oh, our damnably... <laughs> Forgive me, my dear, but I must dash. I have to begin construction before the idea vanishes from my mind. Aww. Penny dashes away. Wow. Things are heating up. Ooh. Our relationship has really skyrocketed. To a to basically you become my Doc Brown. Yeah. Which is not where I thought this would go. I know. But here we are. I know. Let's do this thing. 
Boss? Madam Father is come calling once more. This time I believe she's up to something quite <laughs> serious. She's wearing goggles. Of course I am wearing goggles. In the future, everyone will wear goggles all the time, and I do not wish to stand out. Oh. You mean? Indeed. I have constructed a time apparatus, and today we shall take her on her maiden voyage. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, I love uh, time. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, whatever shall I wear? Um, I mean, hell yeah, I love I like that one, too, whatever yeah, shall whatever I wear. Yeah, whatever shall I wear, maybe. That's more practical. Anything but with a profusion of unnecessary buckles, wires, and vacuum tubes should do the trick. If you can sew those things onto a corset, so much the better. Yes! The corset passion! Come, the future awaits! Without waiting for her response, Penny whisks you away to her workshop. Penny's workshop is a cavernous room filled with dismantled steam engines, medieval suits of armor, and labyrinths of pneumatic tubes. Behold, the apparatus. <laughs> In the center of the room, the mass of other projects has been cleared away to make room for Penny's invention. It looks like a cross between a diving bell, a catamaran, six bicycles, and a grandfather clock. A heavy steel door stands ajar on the front of the apparatus. It's the only way in or out. The idea came to me after I was struck by lightning at the end of our last outing. Such a dark brown. Yes, yes. Here's the thing. We can't say the last one because no. that means we weren't listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, wh how does it work? I guess. Or, yeah. I'm glad you asked. The apparatus you see operates on the principle of chronosubjectivity. <laughs> yep. Perhaps you've noticed that time moves more slowly when you are bored and more quickly when you are enjoying yourself. This machine amplifies the fun we're having via a series of electrodes and then projects the subjective time current into the sails, launching us forward in time. Ooh. Uh, All the Jesse answers are like really obvious. Like, right. what kind of fun we talking, talking about here? here. <laughs> uh, but it's true. How will we get back to normal time? I suppose. Great question. Is I am. I am. Is a good question. We simply view mementos designed to provoke nostalgia. Our subjective time will then move backwards, and we'll be home before we know it. In we go. <clears throat> Penny takes you by the hand and leads you inside the apparatus. The interior is decorated like a high society sitting room that has collided with a clock factory. Two overstuffed chairs on an oriental rug are surrounded by, uh, on all sides by clocks, watches, gears, and pendulums. A console in one corner consists of several dials, a naval chronometer, two banks of electrodes, and a steel calendar. Let's start conservatively. How about 100 years? Penny closes the door behind you, sets the dial on the console, and busies herself affixing electrodes to each of your heads. Yes! She flips the switch on the console, and you hear a steel door lock with a thunk. She beams. Now, in order to travel through time, we need to have fun. Yes! How shall we accomplish this? Oh, what are we yes! going to do, Jesse? Jesse! Uh, what are we going to do? I don't know how to steal the deal! Ah! Well, uh, stick with me. Stick with me, kid. I'll help you through this. I mean, like, now, do we make our move now? It's the fourth date. It's the fourth date. Well, like, well, I mean, you can. This game can get dirty, but we're also on YouTube, and it's the Victorian age. So, really, holding hands is, like, pretty. So, so the philosophical, I mean, like, I feel like she'd enjoy a philosophical discussion on the nature of time, but, like... What Let us kiss? kiss through time could be great. Yeah. Just putting it out there. Yeah, I just, I can't, let's, let's do it. Let's make a move. Let's see if she wants to kiss. Yeah. A capital idea. Kiss me, you <laughs> mad adventurer. Yeah! You mad adventurer. <laughs> <laughs> and kiss you do. For a moment, time seems to stand still. But that's the opposite of what you want. So you keep kissing until time speeds up again. <laughs> You kiss so hard the electrodes come off your heads. Oh no, we can't keep noodling without the electrodes. It will be a waste. Penny expertly reattaches the devices to your respective heads. As 
long as I'm up, I may as well check our time progress. Just a moment. Honey checks her Aww. instruments and frowns. Oh dear. I'm having quite a bit of fun, but we hardly seem to be moving through time at all. Perhaps we've, we've already arrived? Penny tries the uh -oh. door. It doesn't budge. <laughs> what a smooch. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess, uh, are we trapped? Yeah. We very well may be. The doors, you see, are built to remain locked until we arrive at our destination. 100 years in the future. Oh my god! It's a safety precaution I added to prevent us wandering outside and drowning in time. Oh, if the Corona sails aren't functioning properly, that means we'll be stuck in this apparatus for 100 years of regular time. We've, we're completely stuck. What shall we do? Uh. We <laughs> come to terms with our own mortality. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I don't I even know. know. I, I guess. I smash our way out. We do have table smashing we skills. Table smash table could smash, be smash, it. Smash our way out. This apparatus is built to withstand the rigors of the time stream. We've no tool strong enough to rupture it. Uh... <laughs> yeah! Guns! 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 Yes, I specifically counted for upwards of four times the amount of force a powerhouse such as yourself might exert while experiencing time rage. Any other ideas? Mm. Oh man. Why do I feel like come to terms with our yeah, own yeah, morality is the real let's do it. Is the real answer yeah, here. Let's do it. I suppose that is the only viable option. Penny leans back in her armchair and sighs. <gasps> I never thought it would end like this. Although, to be fair, I never really thought about it ending at all. I've been so preoccupied with the future, it never really occurred to me that I might not be around to see it. But I suppose there's always more future, isn't there? And no way for one human to see it all. Some sort of eternally hedonistic afterlife, most likely. We do it all again, rigor mortis followed by decomposition. I don't know, what is the, what is the answer that's gonna like, spark her undying love? I feel like the idea that time is cyclical would appeal to her, maybe. Yeah, you get to you do, do it, it all again. again. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, you're a believer in reincarnation? Tell me, if you could choose, what would you come back as? <laughs> <laughs> so I could probably prove they're real. <laughs> I like this. Uh, <laughs> I like this last one I myself, of, but even more good-looking and smart. I, you know, it seems like maybe a joke answer, but like I like it. You know, yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. A clever loophole, if there ever was one. Although, at that point, you are essentially just describing immortality, aren't you? You'd grow handsomer and handsomer until the stars winked out in the sky. You'd handsomely watch all of your closest friends succumb to old age. Oh, and you'd have, have to keep being a baby over and over again. Being a baby isn't great. On the other hand, I've often longed for multiple lifetimes just to see all that there is to see. There seems to be quite a bit of friction between my opposing ideas, doesn't there? Hmm. <laughs> Wait! Friction! That's it! If we can generate enough static electricity, we should be able to short out the... Uh... No! <laughs> we should be able to short out the... <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> I got so carried away! possibly generate enough static electricity? I hey! don't know, but I got a few ideas. Box of party balloons. He's not. Uh. I'm letting you make this choice. YouTube, it's out of my hands. Don't come after me. Oh, jeez. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
let's let's make the innuendo. Okay. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Uh, marvelous. What is it? What is it? Oh, I think you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's no backing out. I don't. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> oh. Uh, Damn her sensibilities. Let's construct another body. <laughs> says, let go! <laughs> oh, man. I love it. That's I where just... this is going. Let's do it. I, Let's construct an improvised test. I gotta on. answer. I kind of. I gotta answer that one. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. Oh, of, of course. course. That's what you meant. <laughs> Silly me, I'd forgotten about the improvised Tesla coil kit I packed. I suppose we don't need static electricity when we have actual electricity. The kit is simple enough to build for two mechanical geniuses such as yourselves. Ah, uh, we chickened out, but still, it was a good answer. <laughs> you turn it on, aim it at the door, and... It worked! The door is unlocked. Sweet freedom! Penny looks around. You both are still clearly in her workshop. It does not appear to have been ravaged by time, even a little. No, it didn't work at all. Not even a few years. Oh. Time, butler! What year is it? A Welsh corgi oh holding a timepiece trots out from god. underneath the pile of scrap linen. Oh my god. <laughs> it seems we weren't even in there for more than five minutes. Oh my god. Wait, Wait. hold on. We had time to smooch? And build a Tesla coil and like, aww. <laughs> I, that's, that was a fast date. No. She gives her timekeeping corgi a pat on the head. Here's my worry. If this is like built in script and no matter what, if we had chosen like the get it on route and it was like, you've been in there five minutes, I'd be like, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm almost, I almost feel better about this. Yeah. <laughs> she gives her timekeeping corgi a pat on the head and he trots off. Well, that was rather a harrowing adventure, wasn't it? It's a good thing I had you by my side. Otherwise, things might have gone quite differently. Poor oh God. The first one is like so bad. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even it doesn't even make good sense. No. Like, it's my pleasure I mean, to be by your side. And your other parts. Like that's Yeah, <laughs> number two is mean. Uh Uh, Here's the thing. I still, I kind of want to say the first one. Let's do it. Let's say the first one. The pleasure was all mine. Yo, wavy text. All right, all right. That's still nice. In any case, though the experiment was a failure, I'm glad I got to share my failure with you. Relationships, am I right? That's actually romantic. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's nice. <laughs> right. And perhaps it wasn't so much of a failure after all. The machine did bring us closer to each other, as death traps and shared trauma are known to do. <gasps> hmm. Perhaps I can rebrand the machine as a romantic room escape. If you'll excuse me, I have some revisions to work on. Penny returns to her workshop. Yo! Oh! <laughs> Here's what I say. I say we leave the fifth date to the viewers. Yes. If you're out there and you want to see what happens between these two, or you want to go on your own date, Max Gentleman, Sexy Business, it's out. It's it's out right now. Update's coming. It's going to be great. Uh, Erica, thank you for joining me on this thank lovely you adventure. so much for through having me, Through time. That was so much fun. Oh, my gosh. That was adorable. The writing was great. And, and oh, she's great. Yeah, but she has become your Doc Brown. Yeah, you're right. But I like Doc Brown. And this one, just like the original, very hot. That's right. <laughs> I said it. Look at that hair. Yeah, the cinnamon roll. Yeah. <laughs> you can change all that. But this is the, you know, this is the sugar mama look. Nice. Which, by the way, hello, internet. Hi, my name is Jesse Cox. If there are any sugar mamas out there, uh, my DMs are open. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, thank you so much for letting me join you. I'm Erica Ishii, and, uh, Internet, if there are any sugar mamas out there, my DMs are open. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, if there's, like, a, a sugar mama that, you know, has enough to take care of both of us, <laughs> that sounds great. That sounds like a lot of fun uh, to me. Uh, thank you. This was a this was a joy. Uh, and, yeah, let, let's play, play games again together sometime. Oh, you. Thank you. Thank you for being in the game. Thank you for being an amazing voice actor. Thank you for being my friend. And thank you for uh, joining me today. We'll do more in the future, for sure. All right, well, that's it from us. We'll see you guys around. Stay safe. Uh, don't do anything dumb, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, everybody. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Not a lot of time for video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC, what are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a broadcast. Yeah, now sing music. It's a I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. You got it.